Leesburg, Florida. How about it, you guys? How you doing? A very rare semifinal Sunday. Normally, we only have 10 anglers here come Sunday, but this is a supersized Sunday. We've got 50 anglers across the stage. The goal to find out who our top 10 is moving into Championship Monday here at the Lawrence Bassmaster Elite on legendary Harris Chain of Lakes. So happy to be back here in Leesburg. Let's hear it for Leesburg, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for bringing the Elite Series back. And I'd like to thank the Chamber of Commerce for perfect weather here today. An incredible tournament we've had. I mean, hitting the body of water at kind of a different time of year. Um, and, and a lot of anglers coming in this showed concern for this event because it, it isn't as easy as it has been at other times here. But man, 50 of these anglers delivered in a big, big way. Once again, the incredible Elite Series rookies are showing out in a big, big way. But we got to find out who is our top 10 here today. And I appreciate you guys making lots and lots of noise because all around the world, we're streaming on Bassmaster.com. You can see this show on FS1. We were live on FS1 all day today. Every Saturday and Sunday of Elite Series competition starting at 8 a.m. Eastern time, you can see Bass Live on FS1. So... I thank you guys for being such great Bassmaster fans are truly the greatest people on earth. Are you guys ready to get this way in started? So am I, but before we get the way in started, we have to bring out our Waymaster for this tournament. LT is here with us, Lisa Talmadge. She used to seeing her on stage at Elites. She's dealing with a bit of a bad back, so good news is Chris Bose is here with us this week, and I need you to get very loud for Florida's very own Chris Bose. Chris, it's nice uh, nice to have you up on stage. And, uh, you know, Florida, it, it kind of proves to me why you moved here. A hundred percent. I came from upstate New York. We know how the weather has been there for the last six months, maybe eight months. Uh, but, yeah, they live right here in Lake County, so I do want to give them a thank you for hosting this week, along with the Greater Orlando Sports Commission in Leesburg, Florida. Give them all a big round of applause because we have to have awesome hosts like that. They were out here parking vehicles, uh, getting the anglers launched in the mornings, even the spectators here in the afternoon. Lindsay McBride is our main contact here. She is amazing to work with each and every time we come here. I also want to thank the volunteers from the Florida Bass Nation. Give them a big round of applause, helping us take care of these fish, running camera boats, all that good stuff. We can't do it without all those great folks. And of course, all you, the fans, as well as our partners and the sponsors, we're, we're looking forward to a great, great event here. And we hope you all come out tomorrow for the top 10 because it's awesome. It's going to be beautiful weather and an awesome event. Yes, and we need all your help because obviously it's a Monday. I mean, some sorry suckers got to work, but I know a lot of them do not live here. So I need you guys to come here tomorrow. And if you have to work or got to go to school or something, We'll give you a note. This is your virtual note to say Bassmaster says it's okay to take the day off and come out here and cheer on as we crown our champion. You guys have been to these weigh-ins before. You know I ask you to make lots and lots of noise, and one of the ways I do it is by spinning the towel in the air. When I spin this towel, I need you to get real loud. Leesburg, Florida, let me hear you. Okay, I didn't want to burn you out before anglers are out here, but let me ask you one more time. Are you ready? Uh, let's get ready to wham! Fishing his 499th Bassmaster event. His 50th season fishing bass. 16 time Bassmaster winner. 32 time classic qualifier. Four time classic champion from Ava, Missouri. The legendary Mr. Rick Clun. Had 28 pounds, 13 ounces, half our field headed to the next event. Not him, 13 pounds, 7 ounces. He moves into second place with 42 pounds and 4 ounces. And Rick, 499th tournament, and uh, you made it through the first cut, sitting in second place right now. And uh, Florida's been good to you, but it continues to be good to you again here this week. No, I, I, didn't, I had a good tournament. I enjoyed, you know, I, how I was catching them. I like to catch them, you know, shallow on spinnerbait and a, uh, and I was catching on a flat side at shad and chartreuse, but uh, and and I've caught a few on a on a oh it's a speed shad, uh, but uh, today they for some reason you know if I could find the shade they'd hit that spinnerbait, so I just kind of stuck with it. Well, great tournament, a great finish, whatever way it works out. One of the cool things you're doing this year to celebrate his 50th season with bass is Rick's always been kind of elusive. You know, he comes, weighs in, takes trophies, and then disappears to the mountains of the Ozarks. 
But in this, uh, his 50th season, making sure he's meeting with all the fans and everything. You see that blue tent right back there? You get to meet Rick Clun. There's a lot of great keepsakes and stuff going on there. And, uh, and, and Rick, you had a giant lineup yesterday, and I'm predicting another big one here again today. No, and I appreciate you all. appreciate uh, Florida Lakes. They've been good to me. Thanks. And you've been good to this sport. Make sure to meet a true living legend. Next up, we have a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Alabama, David Gaston. David Gaston, his second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series. And only 48 years from now, you could be just like Rick Clun. 12 pounds and an ounce puts him in second place with 43 pounds and 9 ounces. He moves into second place in the Lawrence Bassmaster Elite at the Harris Chain of Lakes here in beautiful Leesburg, Florida. 43 pounds, 9 ounces, so a great event to at a tournament where so many, you know, pre-tournament favorites, you know, people you'd expect to see here. This one was not a gimme. No, it was not. And I really thought I was going to have about four pounds a day. And uh, luckily, I just ran across the right fish every day and stayed in the same area and scratched up what I caught. You definitely had more than four pounds. You're going to leave with a good payday. We'll see you up the road in Palatka, Florida. Florida, I know you're going to get loud. He's a six-time classic qualifier from DeBerry, Florida, John Cox. 29 pounds and 12 ounces to start the day today. He's got five fish, looking for 14-4 to take the lead. 15 pounds, four ounces. With 45 pounds even, he moves into the lead. Boom, shakalaka, ch -ch 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 giant bass. What an absolute hydrilla gorilla. Needs to be better. Then eight pounds, seven ounces to take over Phoenix Boat's big bass for the tournament. It's definitely gonna take it over for the day. Needs to be better than eight, seven. Nine pounds, three ounces, and a brand new Phoenix Boat's big bass for the tournament. Oh, she loves to hold fish, ladies and gentlemen. She loves it. She, let's hear it for her. When, 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 you see, when you see your dad catch big fish on live, does it scare you because you know he's going to make you hold them on stage? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> John, wow. That is, uh, that's an incredible fish, the biggest fish of this event. And uh, what a rally you made. I mean, yes, if it, no matter how this shakes out, I mean, it's not today and it's not day one. Yesterday was so different for you. Yeah, it was so tough yesterday, but... Uh, Man, today, I mean, it was about the same as it was yesterday, but we got lucky and got that big one, and it was crazy. I got him on the Max Scent General, flipped it over in a little hole in the grass, and, uh, man, I, I, I mean, I thought it was like a five-pounder, and then it came up, and it was a big one. And, uh, man, I mean, that fish there, uh, you know, will get me some, some points I really need and, uh, you know, get us ready for the St. John's, and I don't know if we'll make it or not, but it would be awesome to get to go another day. Awesome finish, whatever way it works out. Hopefully see you in the top 10. Yeah, and, and don't let her think that she doesn't like coming up here. She was she skipped softball the other day because she wanted to come up here and go up on stage. So, so, so why does she act like she, I mean, is it just a cool teenager thing? I, I guess so. I guess that's what it is. But she likes it. Don't let her fake you out. <laughs> I, I like, I mean, no, she says he made him. Well, well, I'm sorry. I mean, if he wouldn't catch those pesky giant fish. Here's a guy who always catches him here in the great state of Florida, two-time Bassmaster winner from Tennessee, the always lethal Brandon Lester. 32 pounds, 15 ounces to start the day today. He's got five fish looking for 12 pounds, two ounces to take the lead. Lawrence Bassmaster Elite, 12 pounds, 15 ounces. A brand new leader with 45 pounds and 14 ounces for the eight-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. 45 pounds, 14 ounces, you're leading this deal, and I know you'd love to get another shot at them again tomorrow. It's going to be close. Man, I would. I think it's going to be real close. I took a little peek at Bass Track when I idled in out there a minute ago. It, it's going to be real close for sure. You know, this place is, uh, it, it's, I, I've got a pretty good track record here. It's funny, this place, I fished my very first Bassmaster event ever, a Bassmaster Open back in 2012 here. Uh, man, that seems like forever ago, but it seems like yesterday also. But I really like this place. I'd love to get another crack at it tomorrow. I just, I love the state of Florida. Thank you all for coming. Appreciate you.
Find out at the end of our way, and we'll bring out our top ten. I hope you're part of it. Let's bring out a two-time Elite Series champion, a former Bass Nation national champion from Connecticut, Paul Mueller. 34 pounds, 13 ounces as going in today. Today, 5 pounds, 12 ounces, moving to sixth place with 40 pounds, 9 ounces. So a tough day today, but uh, if you're going to have a tough day, it might as well be on payday. Yeah, it could have happened yesterday for sure. Um, you know, I tried to fish some new water today, and I just I, I ran out of options, I guess. Um, you know, I was blessed to get those two big ones. Um, that's kind of what I needed today, but I didn't even get the two-pounders today. The wind died down. The, you know, the bite got tough, and... Uh, you know, honestly, dude, I had a tough practice here. So uh, to survive this, I'm I'm definitely very happy about that. And I don't know where I'm going to finish, but uh, it, it was just tough, man. It was fun to catch those big fish. It was a fun place. I was hoping they were going to be a little bit more offshore. Um, and just for whatever reason, they weren't. I couldn't figure them out. But we got to come back here. Hopefully next time we come back, it's a little bit hotter and the fish get offshore. And, and it fishes like it normally does because this place is a – Great fishery, especially when they get offshore. We missed it, I think, by a little bit, and uh, I can't wait to come back. Looking forward to seeing St. John's River next week, a spot that you've won. Let's bring out a three-time classic qualifier, former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year from North Carolina, Jake Whitaker. 28 pounds, 14 ounces at the start of the day today. He's got five fish. He says, little babies, eight pounds and an ounce, puts them in ninth place with 36 pounds, 15 ounces, but those little babies going to get you a bunch of points and earn you a pretty good payday leaving town. Yeah, man, it, uh, after the practice that I had, uh, you know, to be able to, to catch the fish that I caught this week and, and to come out of here with a good finish and and, and some money's big. So uh, I had my beautiful wife and little girl here, here with me this week, so that was always a, a, a good deal. But, uh, man, I had a lot of fun. I caught a lot of fish this week on a frog. Uh, believe it or not, I had two canals that uh, – that had, still had some fish in them and was able to catch them on a frog and had fun. But, uh, you know, all in all, a good week, and uh, we'll look forward to St. John's River next week. Congrats on a good one. We'll see you down the road. The very first Canadian ever to win an Elite Series event from Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, Chris Johnston. 31-13 as of two days of competition. Semifinal Sunday bringing us five fish here today. He's 4.15 to get inside the cut currently. More to stay there. Eight pounds, seven ounces. Moves into seventh place with 40 pounds and four ounces. So a tough day three, but uh, another great event for you. Yeah, I'm happy. I got some good points to go towards the Classic for the AOI and got out of Florida. Well, I haven't got out of Florida, but uh, I'm halfway to Florida and uh, I got some good points and a uh, good paycheck. And I'm looking forward to going to St. John's here tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing you there. You've come close to a title there in the past. From Alabama, get loud for Joseph Webster. Joseph Webster having a great tournament this week. Had 31 pounds, 14 ounces. Looking for 14-1 to take the lead here today. Needs 14 pounds in an ounce. 16 pounds even. And Joseph Webster moves into the lead with 47 pounds and 14 ounces. Digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. Get loud for Joseph Webster. Forty-seven pounds, fourteen ounces, and uh, leading this tournament right now. And I gotta believe that you're not going to Palaki yet because you gotta launch your boat here at least one more day and cut and get out there on Championship Monday. How are you feeling about that, Joseph? Woo! I've been waiting on this day a long time. So uh, this is my third year and been trying to get one of these top tens. And uh, you know, I uh, dug me a hole last tournament, and then we're trying to fight our way out of it. And uh, you know, all of our dream is to get to the Bassmaster Classic. And uh, that's, that's where I'm fighting tooth and nail to get there, and uh, maybe we'll straighten it out right here. Love to see it happen for you. Wish you luck. See you back here in a little while at the end of our weigh-in. Let's bring up the 2022 Bassmaster Classic champion from Dry Creek, Oklahoma, Jason Christie. Jason Christie started the day with 32 pounds, 13 ounces, looking for 15-2 to take the lead. Five fish. 17 pounds, 15 ounces, with 50 pounds and 12 ounces. The eight-time Bassmaster winner may be looking at another top 10 here this week. 50 pounds, 12 ounces. That are Crush City Monster Bag of the Day today. I mean, that is uh, yep, yep, another pretty good tournament for you, but you've been kind of quiet this week, you know, just 
Laying in the weeds, well, you might have snuck in the top ten, and that makes you a scary, scary cat to deal with. Yeah, just kind of lurking in the cattails, you know. Um, hopefully, you know, I've, the weights look good. I mean, I just have not caught a great – everybody's got six-pounder, seven-pounder. I just haven't caught one of them this week, and, you know, hopefully tomorrow if I make it, um, you know, I feel like I'm due for two or three of those. The good thing about Florida – I mean, right now it's fishing pretty tough. I mean, you cast and you hope for a bite. When you do get a bite, you hope it's a good one. Uh, but the good thing about Florida is it's not over till it's over. I mean, there everybody back there knows there's 25, 30 pounds swimming around out there if you make the right five casts. So hopefully we make it. And, uh, yeah, I'd love to go fishing on Monday. Love to see it happen for you. We'll bring you out at the end of our way in our top 10. A three-time winner in the last year. Back-to-back -back Bass Nation National Champion, Elite Series Champion, Will Davis Jr. Had 28 pounds, 3 ounces. Needs 10-10 to get inside that cut. Currently, 8 pounds, 13 ounces. He moves into 12th place just outside of the cut. But a good payday and a, and a great finish here this week. Yeah, you know, it, it was a blessing just to have what I had today, man. It's been a grind. You know, these guys caught them, as they always do, but it was a grind for me all week. You know, I blessed yesterday, um, caught that big one, and I never connected today. You know, um, I'm going to give a shout-out to Natalie and uh, Bill Brooker. We stayed there at their house, uh, me and Mark did this past week, and, uh, you know, they got a tackle store, Brooker's up the road. It's a, they got everything you need in there, so go check them out. Um, yeah, man, we just got to go next week and uh, – Try to regroup and catch them again. Um, I caught all my fish this week on a chatterbait Z-Man with a kamikaze crawl, um, green pumpkin by Big Bait. I mean Big Bite. And, uh, man, I just uh, hope to catch them next week. Short drive up the road to Palaka. We'll see you there in a few days. He's a former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year. He's an Elite Series champion from Eden Prairie, Minnesota, the sleepy assassin, Austin Felix. 31-14 at the start of the day today. Had a big day yesterday. Five fish to add to that here today. 10 pounds, 6 ounces. He moves into 7th place currently with 42 pounds, 4 ounces. So a good one. Yeah, had another good event. I mean, it seems like one good, one bad has been the way it's been. That's the way it was in Texas. Hopefully we can have another good one on St. John's and keep this rolling. Had another shot at one of those big fish today. Unfortunately, I broke it off. Uh, Hopefully nobody catches one over eight and a half pounds, and I'm just sweat that out now. I, well, I got some uh, bad news for you. John Cox weighed in a 9-3. Oh, I'm going to go kick his... I, I can't say that. Out. <laughs> <laughs> he has a habit of doing that to people, and this next young angler has a habit of kicking bass, too. He is the youngest Elite Series champion in history, Trey McKinney. 35 pounds even going in day. He's got five fish. Looking for 5-4 to get inside the cut. 15-13 to take the lead. 15 pounds, two ounces. And he moves into second place with 50 pounds and two ounces. And Majus have made his second Elite Series cut in only his third Elite Series event. You are leading Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year. You're leading Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. And you may have just made your second cut out of three. This is pretty good for you. I'll tell you what, it's unbelievable. You know, our luck started to, like, dwindle throughout the day. We, I was wondering, you know, we still, I mean, I still had two two-pounders, you know. I thank the Lord. I mean, we went out there on the, off that one point, caught the one big one that squeaked us through. Hopefully, we, I mean, they, they called them back there. So we're going to see what happens if we squeak in tomorrow. It'd be, it'd, be, I mean, it'd be a blessing, you know, have, going in, having some momentum for St. John. So I'm excited for it. I would love to see it happen for you. Stick around. We'll bring it to our top ten at the very end of this way. And a former classic champion and a former progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Pitts Grove, New Jersey. Go Ike for Mike Iaconelli. Iaconelli had 29 pounds, 12 ounces at the start of the day today. Looking for 10, 13 to get inside the cut. 15 pounds, 11 ounces inside the cut with 45 pounds and seven ounces. He moves into fifth place. And Mike Iaconelli may be fishing with us on Championship Monday. <laughs> Team Toyota's Mike Iaconelli with 45 pounds, seven ounces sitting in fifth place. And man, this was a good one, whatever way it shakes out. It's a good one. You know, when you have a bad start to the season, you need a turnaround event. You know, it's a lot of momentum in this sport. It's a lot of mental. I've been doing it a long time. And I'm mental. So um, it's good to have a turnaround event. Uh, you, you know, I looked at the schedule, and I didn't think my turnaround event would be here. Traditionally, have bad tournaments in Florida, but uh, had a good event. 
ready for St. John's, ready to get the season back on track, try to make that classic. Made a big step in that direction this week. Way to go. He's a two-time classic qualifier from Texas. Get loud for Brad Watley. Brad Watley had 38 pounds, 13 ounces. He's looking for 3.7 to get inside the cut. Pretty sure he's got that. Needs 12 pounds even to take the lead. Five all alive, 11 pounds, four ounces. He moves into third place with 50 pounds and an ounce. But Brad Watley should be part of our field on Championship Monday at the Lawrence Bassmaster Elite on the Harris Chain of Lakes. 50 pounds and an ounce has you in third place. And uh, I'm, I'm feeling like you're probably going to work tomorrow. How are you feeling about that, Brad? I hope I go to work tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to make the drive. If we go to work tomorrow, we're going. We're going to try to catch a bigger bag. I mean, you know, I had a lot of bites today. I just didn't quite get the right bites. But I mean, this is one thing about it. I've said this every time I've come here, Florida. I mean, two bites change everything. So you get a couple of eight pounders, you get right back in it. Well, you've been getting big bites, and I can't wait to watch it go down. Don't go anywhere because it's going to be coming out with our top ten at the end of this weigh-in. Next up from Wisconsin, get loud for Kyle Norsetter. Kyle had 33 pounds and three ounces. A great week he's putting together here. Looking for 9-1 to get inside the cut currently. More to stay there. Five fish for Kyle Norsetter. 11 pounds, 11 ounces. He moves into eighth place currently with 44 pounds and 14 ounces. Get loud for Wisconsin's Kyle Norsetter. 44 pounds, 14 ounces, sitting in eighth place. So uh, it's going to be tight to make that top 10. But, man, a great finish here this week, whatever way you shake it out. Yeah, it will probably be my best finish. Uh, really bummed. You know, I've walked across this stage finishing 97th and 95th with a bigger smile than I'll probably have today. I'm not being negative, but I tried my hardest. So we'll take probably the best finish we had. I just really, really wanted to fish in that top 10. So... All we can do is look forward and grow from there, and maybe one day I'll be hanging out with you on that fourth day. I'm certain that you will be eventually. Always great to have you here. Representing the Bass Nation, it's Doobie time. Tim Doobie. 27 pounds, 15 ounces at the start of the day today. He's got five fish. 11 pounds, 12 ounces. He moves into 15th place currently with 39 pounds, 11 ounces. But another great finish for Tim Doobie representing the Bass Nation here on the Bassmaster Elite Series. 39-11 sitting in 15th place. So a good finish here this week in an event that wasn't a give me for anyone. Yeah, this place is super tricky to play out. There's a lot of uh, strategy involved. Just really happy. Uh, my first floor of the tournament, I was a bow there and made a cut and that's all it's all about making cuts but thank you to everyone out here for coming out this sport is awesome because of you guys and uh really appreciate the support always great to have you here he's the 2023 Bassmaster opens eq angler of the year from myrtle beach south carolina jt Tompkins had 36 pounds 12 ounces oh boy he went to work needs 14 one to take the lead five fish 19 pounds, 13 ounces, with 56 pounds and 9 ounces, JT Tompkins has unofficially made his very first Bassmaster Elite Series Top 10, and he is leading the Lawrence Bassmaster Elite with 56 pounds and 9 ounces. Come on over here in the middle, JT. Unofficially just made your first Elite Series top 10, so congrats on that. And, man, you got a shot at a title. We've already had one rookie winner this year. Might, might, as, might as well get another. Absolutely. I'm just super happy to be here. But um, John Gary, he's got a big lead, and he's a, a phenomenal angler. Me and him went back and forth all year. It's super awesome to be going back and forth right back in it, you know, three tournaments in. But I'm just looking forward to get out there. I had one of the most fun days of bass fishing I ever had. I caught some on big baits, you know exactly how I like to fish so it fits my style I really like Harris chain I'm just super excited to get back out there it's fun watching you can't wait to watch it go down tomorrow we'll bring you out at the end of the way and happy to have him back in the Bassmaster Elite Series a five-time classic qualifier two-time classic champion from Coleman Alabama Jordan Lee 30 pounds and 10 ounces oh boy he needs 13.5 to get inside the cut 17 pounds 10 ounces 
He moves into fifth place, and Jordan Lee may have just made his second top 10, returning to the Bassmaster Elite Series in only three events. Jordan Lee in the top three for Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year, and uh, you keep making these final days, and uh, I mean, that Angler of the Year thing will take care of itself. Man, I'm, I'm so thankful this week to have a great week. Um, the margin of success out here, for me, from failure to success, is like this big. Um, I, I had a really tough practice, and I, I found one spot, and that, that was pretty much it. And I caught all my fish this morning there. Um, it, it, it took about 45 minutes, and then it was done. My day was done. And that's kind of how it was the first day. But, man, I was thankful to find that place. But, yeah, it's a great start to the year. Um, I don't want to spoil anything. Y'all don't go anywhere because I saw I just saw one of the biggest bass I've, I've seen in a long, long time. So do not go no, well, anywhere. You just said, I don't want to spoil anything, and then you proceeded to spoil everything. Hey, I, I'm more excited about seeing that fish than how my day was. I just saw it. I'm like, oh, my gosh, that fish is huge. So y'all stick around. Um, but, yeah, great week this week out here in the Harris Chain. Old school fishing, too. I caught them all old school Carolina rigging. Um, I could not catch them off my active target, um, and I'm fishing offshore. I, I love fishing offshore, that, especially down here in Florida. But, man, it's been really tricky. But old school, uh, a, a max scent kingtail worm has done the trick. But uh, a, a great start to the year, and uh, thank you all for coming out. Well, you, you go on backstage because you're so excited. And you got good reason to be excited. The 2023 Bassmaster Classic champion, the great Canadian snow leopard, Gussie, Jeff Gustafson. 28 pounds, 8 ounces, and Jordan Lee got them all whooped up thinking you got a giant fish. And now, see who suffers because of this? 9 pounds, 9 ounces. A decent day. Puts you in 18th place with 38 pounds and an ounce. But, man, a good one here this week. Yeah, no, it was. It was a, it was it was kind of tough fishing, so I'm pretty happy it grinded her out. I, I don't know if I gassed everything I had the last two days to get to today, but it was a lot tougher for me. Um, but yeah, it's awesome. I got some quite a few friends here today, so thanks everybody for coming out. Over, yeah, we got some Canadian flags. Um, but yeah, it, what a great place to be, eh? Weather's unreal, and uh, hopefully next week fishing will be good there too. You said A on stage and all the Americans hey, laughed. Hey. Look, he did it. <laughs> a. <laughs> we look forward to seeing you plaque, eh? Next up, we have an Elite Series champion, a five-time Elite Series bridesmaid from Mississippi, Brock Mosley. 32 pounds, 11 ounces. Just fished his fifth Bassmaster Classic just a couple of weeks ago. 32, 11, five dad to that here today. Needs 12, three to get inside the cut currently. More to stay there, obviously. Eight pounds, six ounces. Moves into 15th place with 41 pounds and an ounce. Gonna call an end to this one. But when we talked this morning, you said, man, I'm just happy to be here today because uh, going into this one, not so pretty. Yeah, that's that's actually the kind of bag I called every day of practice. So to make day three after practice like that, you know, that pretty happy with it, you know. The first day, I just ran all new water. I ran in, had ran into three big bites. Uh, yesterday, pretty much the same thing, but I had all good quality fish. Today, I went to Apopka uh, late this morning, and I wish I would have went all day. I had one big bite. I lost it, but, you know, it's just been a fun week. Any week you can, uh, you know, make a cut in Florida for me is a good week, but uh, caught all my fish this week, you know, just doing me. Uh, swim jigging, you know, top water, uh, ways I like to catch them, so... Uh, Going into the St. John's River, that one's always had my number. I kind of like to get uh, revenge on it, but we may have to stick around. One of our travel partners, uh, Brad, I think he's going to make top 10. And uh, if you guys want to see some uh, off the water footage of the Elite Series, check out our YouTube uh, channel, Elite Bassin, and uh, catch us on uh, YouTube and uh, kind of get what we do on the road and how we break down bodies of water. But it's been a fun week and uh, quick turnaround. Get to see what we can do at St. John's. Congrats on a good one. He's a four-time Bassmaster winner from Longview, Texas, Lee Livesey. 29 pounds, 13 ounces coming in today. He's got five fish. Needs a 15-1 to get inside the cut. Nine pounds, 15 ounces with 39 pounds, 12 ounces. Moves into 18th place. Some great progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points and a pretty good payday. Yeah, yeah, I finally got to do a little gambling. I've, I've been fishing around Harris the last couple of days in Eustis and uh, fished here for a couple hours and ran to uh, Popkin, just didn't catch anything. But, uh, you know, 
grateful for the points for the for the paycheck and man this place is really good a lot of fish getting caught you know few keys if you're here in florida harris chain a lot of places Minn Kota raptors when you're shallow holding you when you're fishing and mega 360 you know hummingbird mega mega 360 offshore shows those uh grass lines so good uh those are the two tools that i use this week uh caught a lot of fish on a six cent swank which is uh just a shallow running crankbait runs really good over hydrilla and, and eelgrass and then a net bait big bopper i threw them all on a halo hfx 7.3 with sunline 20 pound sniper fluorocarbon but uh I'm ready to go to uh, the St. John's River and see if we can catch some bass there. I just want to say hi to my wife, my mom and dad, Lane, Brooklyn, all my family, friends, fans. Thanks for showing out. And uh, me and Caleb Summer are about to go drink some Bush Light. Bad day to be a Bush Light. Look forward to seeing you in Palatka. We have a four-time Angler of the Year, the 2020 Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Texas, Clark Wendlett. 23 pounds and five ounces at the start of the day today. Five fish to add to that. Eight pounds, 14 ounces, gives you 32.3, puts you in 26th place. You get a great payday and don't have a long travel to get to the next one. Yeah, I love back-to-backs. I mean, I, I when, when we come to Florida, I'd love, I'd just soon fish two or three here. It's, it's a great place to be, and the weather's awesome, and uh, look forward to next week. Great tournament. Congrats. We look forward to seeing Placa in just a couple of days. He's a Bassmaster Open winner, an Elite Series rookie from Cooperstown, New York, Kyle Patrick. 25 pounds, 15 ounces going into today. Needs 18, 15 to get inside the cut. He's got five fish here today. 16 pounds, seven ounces, moves into 13th place with 42 pounds, six ounces. Digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. Let's hear for another one of these incredible Elite Series rookies. 42 pounds, six ounces, and uh, another great finish for you here on the Elite Series. Narrowly missing in your second top 10 in only three events. Yeah, no, it was, a, it was an awesome day, Dave. Um, you know, I kind of gambled. I had fished in Apopka, you know, in practice, and I wanted to go there, but the boat number didn't line up. And then, so I, today I was like, I'm going to go for it, and ran there, had 45 minutes, caught a five and a half and a three and a half, rolled out, did some culling. It was really fun. I, I really enjoyed Florida this time around. Usually I'm not too fond of the fishing here. Or th it's not fond of me. I don't know. But it was a good week, and thank you guys for coming out. Well, the good news is you don't have to leave Florida. We'll see you a couple hours up the road on the St. John's River. A three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Ava, Missouri, Cody Huff. Cody Huff, a former Strike King and college bass champion, hot off a top Six, the Super Six at the Bassmaster Classic at 27-1, 13-6. He moves into 18th place with 40 pounds and seven ounces. Another good finish this year for Cody Huff. 40 pounds, seven ounces, sitting in 18th place. So a, a great finish. And uh, as everybody always says, you just got to survive Florida, and you're doing that well right now. Yeah, that's the truth for me. I've had some really, really bad finishes down here. So, you know, making the cut, getting a good, getting a good finish here is a big deal. But uh, I had a lot of fun today. Just went fishing, caught a lot of bass. Actually, I hadn't done that the rest of the week. Caught probably 25 today. Just winding a chatterbait around, just going fishing. So, lots of fun. Thanks everybody for coming out. Come on up and see us at Palatka. Always great to see you. We'll see you at the next one. A four-time Bassmaster winner, the back-to-back -back Bassmaster Classic champion from Maiden, North Carolina, Hank Cherry. Hank Cherry was also part of our Super Six at the Bassmaster Classic just a few weeks ago. At 26-4 going into day, 12-12 to add to that, puts him in 22nd place with 39 pounds even. So a good one and heading to another great fishery next week. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Like I said, it's not the lack of bites. You catch a lot of fish. Just hard, hard to get a big one. You see the guys that are getting one or two, it just separates them. So another good one down the road. Hey, thanks again to all the military veterans that are in the audience. Thanks to you for what you do. That's the reason why we can come fishing and chase these suckers around. Uh, but somebody here has to explain one thing to me. I didn't go to the door of Carnival today, just so you know that. I couldn't do it. Um... It's got to be something in the boater safety class here. Why does every pontoon want to ride 10 feet off the grass while you're fishing? Is it just me or do y'all see that too? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't get it. If you get 20 feet away from the grass, they're going between you. I don't know. The whole lake, there's nobody out there, but they're going just round and around, round and around.
Well, they help you know which grass bed you're going to get because some of them go a little bit too short. Maybe they have a little bit too much, and they just cut the grass for you, and so not fishing there. So it was easy to make decisions today. But we had a great time. Always love coming here. We'll be back soon, going to Palatka, have some fun, and hopefully do another bit of damage for them. All right, drive safe. We'll see you up the road. He's a former Strike King College Bass champion, a classic qualifier from Tennessee, Jacob Fouts. Had 23 pounds, 15 ounces at the start of the day today. Five fish to add to that. Going to be a good payday. 11 pounds, 13 ounces. Gives him 35 pounds, 12 ounces. Puts him in 27th place currently. But a good payday here this week for Jacob Fouts. And that fish right there, a major reason why. You live and die by the big bite in a Florida event. And that big bite goes a long way. And this one a good one because I think when I talked to you at this time yesterday, you you were not certain you would be here today. Yeah, no, I feel I feel feel pretty fortunate to be here. You know, I never really felt like I was around any bass this week. Just got lucky and, you know, was fishing what was in front of me and was lucky enough to catch a big one yesterday and got me into the cut and, uh, you know, caught one nice one today. Otherwise, it would uh, have been a tough event for me. But, uh, you know, good event, good start to the year. I uh, can't complain a whole lot. So uh, we're looking forward to the next one right up the road here in Palatka. Uh, going to be a good one. Well, it's great to have you here. Congrats on a good one. We'll see you up the road. Next up. From Connecticut, his second season on the Bassmaster Elite Series, Alex Weatherell. 23 pounds and an ounce to start the day today. 11 pounds, two ounces added to that. Puts him in 30th place with 34 pounds and three ounces. Let's hear it for him, ladies and gentlemen. So, in 30th place right now, we're going to have to pay you to leave town. You don't have to go far, and the weather's wonderful here in Florida, so life is good for you. That was a great conclusion. Yeah? That was really good, yeah. I do this a lot. Yeah, you do. Yeah. No, it was uh, it was good. It was a good day. I was in 49th place going into this, so put uh, some 65-pound test Power Pro on my rod, went flipping all day, and caught about 20 fish, all rats, so ran back in here, upgraded a couple times, and hopefully gained some points, and had some fun, and like you said, got paid. Got paid and great weather. We'll see you in a couple of days down the road in Palatka, Florida. A five-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Lake Wiley, South Carolina, Todd Otten. 25 pounds and two ounces for Todd Otten going into today. Five fish to add to that. 7-1 gives him 32 pounds, three ounces. Puts you in 32nd place currently, but half the field already head to Palatka, so you're on the right side of the cut this time around. <laughs> yeah, at least I get paid this time. You know, it's... Uh... You know, I wait all week to get a big bite, and I got it today. But um, I hit that fish. It took me out through the grass and just kept going. I think it's somewhere north of here, about 30 miles by now. But uh, it's it's been a good week, you know, anytime you can make a cut. And uh, I wish we'd come back here in April again. I'm sure we'll be back here again in the future. We'll see you down the road in Palatka. He's a six-time Bassmaster winner, a former progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year from Gonzales, Louisiana, the Hack Attack, Greg Hackney. Greg Hackney just fished his 18th Bassmaster Classic. Had 26 pounds and six ounces. A good day today. Needs 18, eight, 19 pounds, two ounces. He's inside the top 10 in eighth place with 45 pounds and eight ounces. 45 pounds, 8 ounces, and uh, what a day today was, and a great tournament, and, and you know what? You may have just screwed up, and you're stuck fishing another day tomorrow. That's not a problem here. I would love to have that opportunity. I'm probably going to be a little short, but uh, yeah, it was a good day. It was fun. It's, this whole week's been fun. I, I like to fish here, and uh, you know, you got to catch one of those big ones. And I will go ahead and break it to you. There's a great, great big one coming up here a little later. So I saw it back there. So it's going to slip its way up here. But always good to be in Florida. Look forward to next week. I look forward to seeing that fish and seeing you in Palatka. From Blue Ash, Ohio, give me a little love for Alex Redwine. 26 pounds and 10 ounces as of this morning. Five fish here today. Nine pounds, 12 ounces. Gives you 36 pounds and six ounces. He moves into 28th place currently. A good payday for Alex Redwine here this week at the Lawrence Bassmaster Elite at the Harris Chain of Lakes. 36 pounds, six ounces. So a good week this week, Alex. 
Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. That big one on day two kind of saves me, but I, I don't think I've cashed a check or made a cut in Florida since like a Bassmaster Open years ago. So it was good to at least start out the, the Florida swing with decent finish. Hopefully we can carry it on to next week, but a lot of fun. I mean, this lake is definitely a little bit weird right now, but caught a bunch of fish fishing offshore with a Berkeley Stunna. Um, just never landed on a big bite today, but um, my parents came to the weigh-in today. Got to say hi to them. Uh, shout out to Mark Pizer from Trick Step for letting Jay and I stay at his place this week. It's been awesome. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you next week. Hopefully we can make another Florida cut. Love to see you there. We'll see you down the road just a couple hours from here. He's a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Corbin, Kentucky. Get loud for Mike Huff. Thirty anglers into our fifty angler weigh-in. I want to remind everyone: we'll bring out our top ten at the very end. He had twenty-five pounds, ten ounces going in day twelve, fourteen to add to that. Puts him in twenty-fourth place with thirty-eight pounds and eight ounces. So a good payday for Mike Huff, and a good finish here on the Harris Chain of Lakes. Twenty-fourth place currently with thirty-eight eight. So a good one. Not a bad one. Anytime you're fishing on day three, that's a good thing. So, But I was making that long run down to Apopka, and today they really started biting. That was a lot of fun. Probably the most fish I've caught all week, but long run back. I wish I could have kept fishing, but like I said, never a bad day when you're fishing on day three. Looking forward to next week. Always great to have you here. Safe travels. We'll see you in a couple of days. A four-time classic qualifier, a Bassmaster Open winner from Mount Carmel, Tennessee, David Mullins. Had 25 pounds and five ounces going into today. Used a pinky to hand the bag off, so not a big day today. Five pounds even gives him 30 pounds, five ounces, moves you into 36th place. So, I mean, although it wasn't the day you would hope today, it happened on the right day, payday. Yeah, I'm glad it didn't happen yesterday. I mean, I, I, I was catching a lot of my fish off docks, flip, uh, flipping a, a Yamamoto hog on docks. And I'll tell you what, if you're going to Lake Dora, I covered 735 docks on that right side, and I left two of you on the left side. So if y'all y'all going to door tomorrow, there's two on that left side I didn't hit. There's probably a couple 12 inches underneath them. You might want to pick it up there. All right, thanks for the tip. You can learn things at these weigh-ins. From Gonzales, Louisiana, his second season on the Elite Series, Logan Latuso. 27 pounds, 13 ounces. Going into day number three. He's got five fish to add to that here today. Looks like a decent day at the office. 12 pounds, 7 ounces. Puts him in 21st place with 40 pounds and 4 ounces. Digging deep in that Crush City way. And Bag made the first top 10 to his very first Elite Series event. Let's hear it for Logan Latuso. So, Logan, 40 pounds, 4 ounces. We talked in the dock this morning. I mean, fishing in a very comfortable Louisiana style here this week. Oh, yeah, I fished exactly how I wanted to. I had a lot of confidence, caught a lot of fish, just never caught no big ones. I swam a jig and flipped a missile bait deep bomb around Cypress Trees, just like back home. Well, great finish and a great payday. We'll see in Palatka, Florida. A former motocross race that now makes his living here in the Elite Series. Four-time classic qualifier, Hunter Shryock. 26 pounds and two ounces to start the day today. Five fish to add to that. Eight pounds, 15 ounces, gives him 35 pounds and an ounce, moving to 32nd place, so a, a good payday. Yeah, you know, I, I was literally just thinking AOI points, AOI points, because it comes down to the end of the year of just salvaging those deals. But I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. If you want to fish out here, you got to rig up about eight different rods, and as soon as you get a bite on one, just set it back down. Get out the next one and start going because I, every, every day I caught them on something different. And I, every time I think, oh, this is what I'm going to do. Nope, they're going to do something else. So we're going to try to get after them at St. John's. We appreciate all you guys for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. From Old Forge, PA, get some noise going for Jonathan Kelly. 23 pounds even. Going into today, five fish to add to that, seven pounds, two ounces, moves into 39th place. So you are a bubble boy, nowhere to go but up. So uh, a pretty relaxing day, I would imagine. Yeah, it honestly was relaxing. I made it in by one ounce, so I'm happy to be sitting on the stage today. Got to go fishing again on day three. So can't complain when it's like that. Had a tough practice, had a tough week, but, you know, I had enough to make it in. I was fortunate for that, and uh, 
I ran the first two days down to Lake Apopka, and that's where I caught my first two days' weight. Today, I just decided to stay closer, you know, being in 50th. I kind of restarted over. I just wanted to go fish and see if I could come on something new. I put that Minn Kota Quest down, and I just burned some bank, looking for new fish that I didn't really find in practice or anything like that, just trying to come across something. You know, being in 50th, I had nothing to lose, no points to lose. So that's what I did. Obviously, it didn't work out. I only caught seven pounds. But I, it was a good week. Got paid. So anytime you're making a top 50, I'll take it. Uh, looking forward to getting to St. John's. Uh, my family's going to be flying down. So I'm going to have my mom, dad, and my fiancé in, so I'm really excited about that. It's going to be a real fun week next week, and I'm looking to get forward to get started. Looking forward to seeing you there. Great start to the Florida Swing. An Elite Series champion from Springville, Alabama, Wes Logan. 24 pounds in an ounce to start the day. Four fish to add to that here today. Five pounds, seven ounces, puts you in 40th place. So... Day number one, I mean, kind of slipped off each day a little more from there, but good enough to get here and a great payday here at the third day of the event. Yeah, very blessed to make it to the day for sure. I, I don't know. I didn't have a terrible practice in it. I don't know where they went or what happened, but I, I thought I had a pretty consistent bite swimming and flipping, but it just kind of, or maybe the area just kind of got burned out probably. But I don't know. I ran that skier Yamaha through three lakes today and just didn't run into them. I lost a couple, but it wouldn't have made no difference. But want to uh, give a big shout out to my parents. They drove down today. Uh, also, my beautiful wife. And uh, Palak has been pretty good to me, so we're ready to get over and start practice. See you down the road. Great finish. The only Australian ever to win a Bassmaster Elite Series event. Fear my heart. Carl Jacobson. 23 pounds and 13 ounces to start the day today. Four fish to add to that here on semifinal Sunday. 12 pounds and 2 ounces gives him 35 pounds and 15 ounces. So overall, a good week once again for Carl Jacobson trying to get to his third Bassmaster Classic in a row. 35 pounds, 15 ounces, and you're in 31st place. So a great finish here this week. When you look at the list of anglers that have already headed to Palatka, you got to be pretty proud to be standing here. Yeah, these guys are absolute savages. You cannot slip up. They make you better and better every single week because they, they don't slip up. You just have to continue to catch them. A little bit disappointed having four for 12. You know, I, I left a lot, of, a lot of points out there, a lot of weight. I could have had my best day today, but I'm just so grateful to be here anytime you make day three. I literally found one spot on my uh, Mega 360, and it was a little pepper grass spot, and I caught... 60 70 bass out of it over the last three days it was unbelievable it was just one spot didn't even know it was there until the first day i looked down saw it started casting my swim jig up there and it was one after the other um we've been working super hard on our youtube channel scott uh our videographer has been out there grinding with us following me in the boat filming everything so uh we want to keep working hard bringing good content to you guys so head over to our youtube channel and check it out Appreciate everyone's support. We've got all this on film. If you want to see it in a, in a couple of weeks, Scott will have it all edited up. But uh, looking forward to heading over St. John's. Appreciate every, everyone and love this place. Look forward to coming back. Love having you here. He's another one of those Elite Series rookies. Already made one top 10 from Tennessee, Robert G. Third place finish at his very first Elite Series event in Toledo Bend. 24 pounds, 14 ounces going into today. Five fish out of that 915 puts him in 34th place with 34 pounds and 13 ounces. Another good payday for Robert G. Another one of those amazing Elite Series rookies here in 2024. 34 pounds and 13 ounces. And man, the, the rookies continue to assault the progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year leaderboard. Oh, man, it's a, it's a really good see, uh, rookie class. I mean, I had to compete with them again all last year in the Opens, and those guys are unbelievable, and these guys we're fishing against now are unbelievable, but it's just uh, it's just awesome to be here, and I wish I had a better day today. I lost a few, but that's, that's how it goes, but I'm glad to make a check here in Florida. Glad to have you, and look forward to seeing you in Palatka. A former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year and Elite Series champion from Georgia, Drew Cook. 23 pounds and 8 ounces as of this morning. Five fish to add to that here today. Let's get him some progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. 11 pounds, 4 ounces with 34 pounds, 12 ounces. He moves into 35th place here today, and that's a good one right there. 
Thank you very much. Harris Chain of Lakes, an incredible playing field this week. Not an easy one, though. This was not a gimme for anyone, and you got to be pretty happy to be here on Sunday. Yeah, this week, um, God, I had the bias to have a really, really, really good tournament, but it just I couldn't catch them uh, for whatever reason. It's just one of those deals where either they'd miss it or I'd hook them and lose them or just whatever. But uh, I finally got one of six or seven big bites in the boat today and uh, you know, ended up with 11 pounds. But at least we were here fishing and um, looking forward to next week. Caught all of my fish this week on a, on a Spro flapping frog and front flapper from Norris pitching it around and uh, a Gila stick. But looking forward to St. John's. I've had a lot of good tournaments at St. John's. It's going to be a little different this time of year, but uh, I'm ready to see all my friends and family that are coming. So let's get after it. Always great to have you here. A very special treat. He is the 2024 Bassmaster Classic champion from Alabama, Justin Hamner. 27 pounds and eight ounces as of this morning. Five fish to add to that here today. 12 pounds, 11 ounces. He moves into 22nd place with 40 pounds and three ounces. Just two weeks after winning the most coveted trophy in professional bass fishing. 40 pounds, three ounces, so another good payday for you, and uh, it must be getting exhausting making all those trips to the bank. Yeah, it's terrible. I, I don't I don't know. See what I can do about it at Palatka. I don't know. This week, I'm I'm just lucky to be here. I mean, this, this whole week has been such a whirlwind still. I mean, can't even hardly practice. That phone's blowing up, and thank you, everybody, for that. Um, but just glad we caught a few fish, and I got to do it how I like to. I, I was punching that net bait bee bug all week and uh, caught a few on a frog, but it was just fun fishing. It's hard, but it's fun. Always awesome to have you here. Get on down the road to Palaka. We'll see you there. He's a seven-time classic qualifier, former Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year from North Carolina, Brandon Card. 26 pounds, 10 ounces as of this morning. Five fish to add to that here today. Seven pounds even gives him 33 pounds, 10 ounces. You move into 40th place. So a good payday this time around. Yeah, you know, the first the first two days was actually really fun. I was on a shad spawn over there on Griffin and catching them on top water and a wacky worm and uh, went right back over there this morning and uh, the shad spawn was just over. I mean, it, it just wasn't happening. So I just uh, fished around and never did catch a big one. But uh, all in all, just a great week here. Had fun. On the off day, went down to the Suzuki headquarters in Tampa, which was super, super cool to see that. Um, just, um, yeah, looking forward to the next one and, uh, want to say hi to my wife and my little baby boy back home. Well, it's great to have you here. Safe travels up the road. He's a Bassmaster Open winner, a five-time classic qualifier from Peterborough, Ontario, Canada, Corey Johnston. 25 pounds, three ounces. Coming in today, five fish to add to that here today. 9.7 gives you 34 pounds, 10 ounces. You move into 38th place, but a good payday and go into a body of water you've done very good in the past. Yeah, you know what? I, I just had one of those days that I missed a ton of fish. They were just biting weird. Um, it is what it is. Made a long run all the way to a pop kiss. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting out of here, getting to the St. John's, and uh, try to redeem myself. See you down there. Safe travels. From the West Coast, taught off his very first Bassmaster Classic from California, Bryant Smith. Set the record last year for the five biggest smallmouth bass ever weighed in in Bassmaster competition. Had 24 pounds, 8 ounces coming into today. Five fish to add to that, 12 pounds, 3 ounces. Puts him in 31st place currently with 36 pounds, 11 ounces. Want to remind everybody... We'll be bringing out our top 10 at the end of this way. And so if you're in the top 10, make sure you get backstage. And if you're in the crowd, don't go anywhere because we need to celebrate the 10 anglers that make it to the final day. You've been in those final days in the past, not this time around, but a great finish here this week regardless. Man, if you would have told me I'd make the cut after my practice, you know, <laughs> I would have told you you were lying. It was absolutely brutal, but uh, just junked it together. That's that's what you kind of got to do when you're on nothing. I, like I said, the first day I weighed fish out of four lakes and I caught them on probably seven different techniques. So um, just kept fishing today. I just locked a Strike King spinnerbait in my hand and, and I fished it like 
uh, Clear Lake, California, back at home. This place sets up almost just like it. Had a ton of fun. Probably caught 30, 40 fish out there. No big ones. That's what you need in Florida to kind of set you apart, but there are some big ones coming up next. Get out of here. <laughs> Ruin everything. Originally from Michigan, now makes his home in Florida. Get loud for Kobe Krieger. See, now, that wasn't nice what he did. He said, big one's coming up next. Poor Kobe has had a nice tournament. He was talking about me. Uh, he, was talking about me. Okay. he was talking about me big. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Eight pounds, three ounces puts you in 39th with 34 pounds, 10 ounces. Survived this one. I mean, you, as you said, in day one of the stage, came in here feeling a little ill. So you got, uh, got through this, and the $10,000 payday probably makes anyone feel better. Yeah, today was a bonus, you know, where I started the first day in 95th place after I waited in the first day to make the cut and, uh, you know, go home with a paycheck. It, it was a great tournament. Um, hope to carry some momentum into St. John's. But there is a really big fish coming up next. Not go. <laughs> Get out of here. I don't know what's about to happen, but he's a four-time Bassmaster winner from North Prince George, Virginia, Jacob Peroznik. 25 pounds and nine ounces coming into today. He needs 19 pounds, seven ounces to get inside the top 10. Five fish here today looking for 19.7. 21 pounds, five ounces. He rockets all the way to seventh place with 46 pounds, 10 ounces. Boom shakalaka, ch -ch 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 giant bass. Wow. John Cox took over Phoenix Boat's big bass of the tournament early in this way and with a 9-3, needs to be better than nine pounds, three ounces. 10 pounds, eight ounces. A brand new Phoenix Boats Big Bass of the tournament, and that fish and its friends may be the reason that you're going to work on Championship Monday. Yeah, I'd like to. You know, it's uh, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. You know, I, I, I was in fishing in the area. I've been the only boat in there uh, other than the first day. We had one other boat in there with me. But, you know, we had that big wind, and it, and it blew all the water out, and it, it kind of just jacked the fish up. There was a bunch on the bed, and uh, today it just like a light switch went on. It, I caught that fish on the first flip. I went over top, I ever seen her, and her and her boyfriend that was in the bag with her. And uh, and just before I left, there was a four and another, another nine pounder. There was another one about 10 swimming around. So if the good Lord's willing, I'll go tomorrow. But if not, it was uh, absolutely incredible to catch that fish, man, to have the opportunity. I mean, this lake is absolutely incredible. It's got giants in it, and and, and it's just fun to be here, you know. And and uh, she just wanted to ride in that falcon, so she got a chance to. Well, thanks for giving her that dream. Leading Phoenix Boats Big Bass and inside the top 10, just a few anglers left to go. This one, a three-time Elite Series champion from Auburn, Alabama, Steve Kennedy. 23 pounds, five ounces coming into today. 15 pounds, 13 ounces, moves up to 26th place with 39 pounds and two ounces. Steve Kennedy digging deep in that Crush City weigh-in bag. Let's hear it for Steve Kennedy, a three-time member of the Bassmaster Century Club. 39 pounds, two ounces, puts you in 26th place. Steve, a, a great week here this week. Yeah, it turns out to be solid points at uh Dude, I wish we could have gone before the front. You would not believe what is in this place. And uh, if y'all don't know how the cycle works around here, the day before the front, these fish eat. The day after the front, that morning, you got a chance. The second day after, they don't bite for squat. So, yeah, I came in with four fish that weighed seven pounds yesterday. I did have an opportunity and a big one. And then today, they, this afternoon especially, they started chomping. So uh, I got two good ones in the boat, and there's, there's some more coming. I just, I got outfished by one of the guys fixed to come up, so uh, going to be headed to the next one. Always great to have you here. Congrats on a great finish. He's a Bassmaster Open winner, just fished his first classic from Maine, the main event, Tyler Williams. 34 pounds and 11 ounces. Got to watch him on Bass Live today. 
He needs 10 pounds, 12 ounces to get inside the top 10 for the second time this season. Not a problem. 16 pounds, 14 ounces. Tyler Williams moves into second place with 51 pounds, 9 ounces, and unofficially has made his second top 10 in just three Elite Series events. Wow, Tyler, uh, unofficially, or pretty much officially, because we weighed 47, you're, you've just made your second top 10 and only your third Elite Series event. This Elite Series business, is, it, um, it's pretty fun, huh? It's a good time. I'm, I'm enjoying it. It's a, <laughs> I'm just making decisions that I wouldn't have made last year just because I'm like, well, my career doesn't depend on one two-pounder, so let's go try to get a five, and then it, it's working out at the moment. There'll be times where it doesn't work out, don't get me wrong, but at the moment, it's going great. <laughs> Watching you fish, it literally, I mean, it, it, you don't, like, rookies normally feel pressure. It does not, it, it doesn't even seem like you realize there's a camera on you at most times. Is it really as stress-free as it looks from the outside? Yeah, it is. It feels like, a, like I'm friends with everybody now, and I'm f fishing a big club tournament. It's just going fishing with the boys again. It, I'm just enjoying every second of it. Well, keep enjoying it. An incredible start to his career, and this is a pretty big club. A two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from North Carolina, KJ Queen. 34 pounds and 7 ounces to start the day today. He's trying to get inside our top 10. Needs 11-1 to get inside the top 10. 18 pounds, 15 ounces. Never mind the top 10. He's moved into second place with 53 pounds and 6 ounces. North Carolina's KJ Queen going fishing on Championship Monday. Fifty-three pounds six ounces. You are sitting in second place with just two anglers left to weigh. So unofficially, well, officially, you have made your second top ten in elite series competition. Congrats on that, man. I appreciate it. It feels good. Uh, it feels good to be back in the top ten. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, I feel like if I could have got all my fish in this week, it, I could have gave John a little run for my money. But uh, you know, still going to go out there tomorrow, and I'm I'm coming for old Johnny boy. I promise you that. Anything can happen out there, and uh, but I, I, I mean, I want to help you because I remember your last top ten. For those that don't know, okay. he showed up all excited. He fished his first, making his first top ten. You know, you're all nervous. There's nine other people tied up to the dock, and it wasn't until just two minutes before takeoff that he realized. Although he stopped at four different gas stations looking for a biscuit, just three, just three different bas gas stations looking for a biscuit, he never once decided to put gas in his boat. So. <laughs> I'm just ridiculing you on this stage now to help you remember. Get some gas. That's where I'm going right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow morning. He's a Bassmaster Classic qualifier for Bassmaster Top 10s from Richmond, Virginia, the barrister, Edward Lochran the third. 37 pounds, 12 ounces to start the day. He needs 8 pounds, 2 ounces to get inside the Top 10. 12 pounds, 5 ounces. He moves into 7th place with 50 pounds and an ounce. And the barrister is going to be fishing on Championship Sunday. <laughs> 50 pounds and an ounce sitting in 7th place and uh, going to work on Monday. A uh, lot of fun watching you compete on Bass Live. It didn't feel so fun out there. It was a little stressful. <laughs> so, you know, I had a little bit of a tough day. Um, fortunately, put a D-bomb in my hand and flipped and ended up catching that five-something that propelled me into the uh, top ten. So, you know, tomorrow I don't have a lot of stress. I mean, I'm in seventh or eighth place, ninth place, so I really can't go down much. So I'm just going to swing for the fences and go back down to a popka. Can't wait to watch it go down on Bass Live. Last but definitely not least, he's been your leader since day number one, a former Strike King College Bass champion from Union City, Tennessee, John Garrett. In his third Elite Series event, he is trying to win this thing wire to wire, had 43 pounds, 15 ounces, needs 12, 11 to take the lead once again. 19 pounds, three ounces with 63 pounds, two ounces. John Garrett is once again back in the lead at the Lawrence Bassmaster Elite at the Harris Chain of Lakes. The 2024 Bassmaster Elite Series rookies continue to assault our leaderboard. This just our third Elite Series event of 2024. We already have had one rookie winner, and uh, you keep catching them like this, and that'll make two. 
Uh, they, uh, I don't know what to say about that. I, I don't know. We'll see how tomorrow goes. But, man, it's been a absolutely blessed three days. Uh, every time I, I put my boat out there and ride down the lake, I don't know if I'm going to catch one or not. I really don't. This place is uh, fishing super tough. And, man, if I could just get a few more good ones to get blessed tomorrow, I, I would love it. It would be a dream come true. But I got JT chasing me. And he ran me down last year and beat me for the AOI at the in the open. So I'm gonna try to hold him off. Hopefully. And that happened here too. That decision happened right here in the Harris chain, right? Yep. That that ha that did happen here. The last tournament, he you know he ended up beating me by a few points, and uh, I am praying that I end up beating him tomorrow. But we'll see what happens. Get a little redemption. We'll find out. I can't wait to watch it go down. Let's hear it for your tournament leader, ladies and gentlemen. 50 anglers have weighed. There is only one thing we need to do, and that is to bring out our top 10. Leesburg, Florida, are you ready? He's been on the Bassmaster Elite Series for three years. He's come close before, but making his very first Elite Series top 10 from Alabama, Joseph Webster. We're happy to have him back, and his didn't take long to feel his presence. He went out this morning in second place in our Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year race. He is a five-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a two-time Bassmaster Classic champion, a former Strike King College Bass champion, the back-to-back -back Bassmaster Classic champion from Coleman, Alabama, Jordan Lee. Mine's going to be about a Making his fifth Bassmaster top 10 during the week, he makes his living in the law firm. He is the barrister. He is a Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Get loud for the barrister, Edward Lochran III. He has four Bassmaster top 10s. He is a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Texas, Brad Watley. Another incredible Elite Series rookie. He just happens to be the youngest angler ever to qualify for the Bassmaster Elite Series. The youngest angler ever to win an Elite Series event. He is leading Progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year. He is leading Dakota Lithium Rookie of the Year. From Illinois, Fishing Phenom, Trey McKinney. He is a 10-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier, a 10-time FLW Tour winner, an 8-time Bassmaster winner. He is the 2022 Bassmaster Classic champion, one of the most feared names in professional bass fishing from Dry Creek, Oklahoma, Jason Christie. He is a Bassmaster Elite Series rookie. He is a Bassmaster Open winner. He is a Bassmaster Classic qualifier inside the top three in a progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year race. The only Elite Series angler ever to qualify from Maine, making him the main event, Tyler Williams. He is a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. Just when his career seemed to be on cruise control, the last year, been a little rocky, but no better way to get it back on the tracks than the great state of Florida. From North Carolina, KJ Queen. He is a Bassmaster Classic qualifier. He is a Bassmaster Open winner. He is the 2023 Bassmaster Opens EQ Angler of the Year from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, JT Tompkins.
He's a former Strike King College Bass champion. He is a Bassmaster Classic qualifier. He has been knocking on the Elite Series door for several years. More people are shocked that he hasn't been here than the fact that he is here. Well, it didn't take him long to be a player. It only his third Elite Series event. He is the man with the plan saying, catch me, catch me if you can. Trying to go wire to wire from Union City, Tennessee, John Garrett. We started with 102, 50 went out today, and now only 10 remain. 10 Elite Series Assassins will do battle on this incredible fishery. And at this time tomorrow, we will have one. That one will be the third Elite Series Champion of the 2024 season. This is the Lawrence Bassmaster Elite at the Harris Chain, Florida. Let me hear you. Ten anglers battling it out all day long. They'll leave the docks tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. So make sure to get down here and cheer them on. Battling it out for an Elite Series title. Another top ten that is full of Elite Series rookies. Who's going to win it? It's going to be a showdown, a throwdown, a big fish mowdown. And you can follow the action all day long on Bassmaster.com. It is a very rare Bassmaster Championship Monday. On behalf of Bass, we give each and every one of you permission to take the day off and help us crown our champion here tomorrow.